Hey guys, it's Tanya from My Fancy Design Shop and today I'm going to go over my leopard lettering brush set for Procreate. Now this brush set is animal inspired. Of course, as you can see, leopard inspired. So what's great about this set is that in just one brush, the pattern and the difference in colors are already built into it. So all you got to do is pick a color, start lettering and you get that awesome pattern. Now this set comes with 12 brushes. And you'll see that some of them are called glow. Let me just go over them really quick. Some of them are called glow. That's because it has more of like a neon effect. And also each type has either a rough edge. Uh, let me just pull up that specific color palette. And with the glow um, brushes, you do want to use a darker color just because of the effect of the brush. So we'll just grab one of the colors from the color palette. The Leopard Glow Rough, you'll see has like a neon effect. It has the dark, oh, I lost it, and there it goes. Okay, has the darker edge, still has that pattern, has more of like a bright neon effect. Um, and then you'll see the rough edge, the rough dark edge. Same thing with the Glow Smooth, except it'll have a smooth edge. So you see the difference? So it really is just what kind of look you're going for, uh, for your design. You also have a monoline version of those two. Then you have the, um, the smooth and the rough brushes in just like a regular, regular leopard that you just saw in the first photo. So what I am going to do is grab that color palette because this brush set comes with two color palettes, just an, a regular one and a glow one. And we're going to grab one color and this is the smooth. So you see how it just has a smooth edge to it. Still has the pattern, has the three colors and the rough has the rough edge. Same thing as you also get the monoline version, which is just one thickness, not the thin and thick like the brush pens. What's also great with the monoline, I'll show you here, if you wanted kind of like a seamless pattern or a background, keep your brush on your canvas as you swipe back and forth and you'll get a, a fun pattern like that. But you want to make sure, do you see how I lifted up my pencil and then I started again? You want to make sure that you don't lift up your pencil. You can even use your finger because you'll see the colors overlap. It'll continue the pattern, but you'll see the, the different um, darkness of the background. Uh, easy way also to do that is to bring down the streamline of the monoline brush. So then it's slightly easier just to color it in because the streamline will control um, the smoothness of your lines. But with, if you're doing something like this, you don't have to worry about it. So you get that fun thing. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to show you another fun way to use that brush in your lettering. But I am going to bring that streamline back up so I don't forget. Um, and then we have a couple more brushes. You have the dual glow and the dual smooth. Um, and rough. So both in rough and smooth, but in the two different types of leopard brushes. Now what's great about these is if you haven't known in Procreate 5 when it came out, it brought out like the primary and secondary color um, with color dynamics. So meaning with these two brushes, because of the settings, you can letter with the two colors that you choose up here and the, your primary color, which is going to be the one on the left, is going to be your lightest upstrokes. And your secondary color is going to be your thick downstrokes, the more pressure you apply to your pencil. So let's just grab the regular one and I'm just going to choose, let's do a pink. Hopefully this is a big enough color difference. So you'll see how my upstrokes are that orange. My downstrokes is that, yeah, it's like a purple pink. Um, so when I start writing, we'll just do leopard, light strokes is the orange, 
the more pressure I add is that like fuchsia color. So you have it right there. So you really just wanna make sure you have really good um, pressure control. Otherwise, if you are lettering it with the same pressure, it's just going to be like one color basically. So you see how it gradually changes the color. Another thing is because of how this brush is set up and to have that pattern pop through, you will see your um, exit strokes and your entrance strokes, like right over here and here overlapping. Best way to avoid that is to work in layers. If it bugs you, if it doesn't, fine, just keep going. Um, so we'll do hello. So you see how I have to lift up my pencil to do the next letter. Then what I'll do is I will add another layer, continue lettering, and do the same thing. It may seem like a lot of extra steps, but I promise you it's, it doesn't take that much longer um, and you'll, you'll like the after effect better. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in with my eraser and I went back to the H layer and I'm just going to erase the overlapping area. Then I'll go to the E and I'll do the same thing. Again, this is just an extra step if you wanna do it. If you didn't like seeing the overlapping areas, you don't have to, it's all your preference. Um, but this is the best and easiest way to do it. And then once you're done, I would then merge all of those layers together. So they're all in one layer. Another great tip is if you're unsure of the color that you choose, because this can be with the dual brushes or any other brush. I love using um, the hue, saturation, and brightness. So I'll go to the adjustments, I'll hit that and I'll hit layer. And on the bottom, you'll see hue, saturation, and brightness. So of course the brightness will affect how bright or dark it is. The saturation will affect how saturated the color is. But what I love to do is change the hue. So if I wasn't crazy about this color combo, I can easily change it this way. And it'll change the colors for me. So it's pretty cool. And then you can go in and you can change the saturation, maybe a little brightness, the darkness, there you go. So that's a fun way to change that. Um, and next, what I wanted to show you uh, my good friend Lauren from Blush River Design, she was using my leopard set and she said, you know what, I found out a way to get the background color different. It's just a few extra steps. She's so sweet that she showed me and I am going to share it with you. She also has a video on her Instagram if you visit her at, at Blush River Design. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just grab... You know what, let's just be simple here. We'll do a black. I'm gonna grab one of my regular leopard brushes and let's let her create. Okay, so we have that. Next, if we wanted, you see how now this is kind of like a gray scale. We have the black and then two versions of the two shades of gray. Say we wanted to change the spots or the background. What we can do is duplicate the layer. So now you have two layers. On one of the layers, I'm just gonna keep the top one. I'm going to tap on it so the layer menu comes up. I'm gonna hit select, open up that menu again, click on it, and I'm gonna hit clear. So now you can see that it cleared out the spots, which means now this layer is gonna control the background layer or the background color. Okay, next I'm gonna go down to the second layer. Same thing, I'm going to tap on it. I'm gonna hit select. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see 
like another menu pop up. You want to hit invert. Okay. And then you're going to go back up to your menu. Make sure you tap on that same layer and you're going to hit clear. Now you'll see is part of the background is a little bit lighter because it was clearing the background. You're still going to see a shade of it. Um, but do you see the difference? I'm going to move them really quick and then move them back because you really want to keep them on top of each other. But do you see what we just did is on this layer we cleared the spots and on this layer we cleared maybe like a layer or two, like a shade or two of the background. Okay, so you always want to make sure that they are on top of each other. Now you can, if you want, label them so we can rename them this one background color oh no this is a spot color see maybe that's good that we're labeling it a uh, spot color and then this was our background color okay so we have that now what we can do is maybe change our spot color. Maybe we want to change it to a hot pink. So we can grab that, make sure alpha lock is on and you're gonna hit fill and you have your pink, your pink spots. Maybe we wanted to change this a little. Let me see if I should, maybe I should have used a color. All right, so let's just make that easy and we'll do like a lighter gray. But that's how you change if you want a different color, like for the spots in the background. I'm gonna show you another one really quick too, because I probably shouldn't have used black to letter it. So let's just stick with um, the pink. And I'm just gonna write high, so it's a little bit quicker. Okay, so we letter our word. We duplicate it on one, we hit select, go back, hit clear. That is going to be our background color. And then we're gonna to go to the second layer. We're gonna hit select, go down to the bottom, hit invert, go back to the layer, tap on it, hit clear. And this is going to be our spot color. Yes, I'm fully aware I misspelled background. <laughs> Okay, so here we have our spots. Here we have our background. Okay, so let's do this. Let's change our background color. Again, easiest way, I'm making sure that layer is highlighted. I'm going up to my adjustments. I'm going to hue, saturation, brightness, hitting layer, and I'm gonna go down to hue. And there we are changing. Do you see how it's changing the background color? So let's do like a peachy color we can bring up the saturation a little we can even make it darker lighter let's make it a little bit lighter okay let's go to our spot hit hue saturation brightness layer and we can even change this so let's let's make it like real drastic let's go blue okay and there you go there you have it so you have the two different colors that is the easiest way to do it if you wanted the different colored background and a different colored spots. Um, and then what you can do ultimately is just merge those two layers together. If you know that you're absolutely done, you don't wanna change anything else um, and you're about to save and everything. Otherwise you will have to, I mean, you could hit undo, but you would might have to just start all over. Um, I think the last thing I wanna go over is, remember how we did this seamless pattern with a monoline brush and bringing that streamline um, setting down to make it easier? I just wanna show you why, another way that you can do to add this leopard print to your lettering. So I am just going to add a layer you can honestly use any color. I, you know, I'm gonna stick with black. And I would just use a regular brush pen. I'm just gonna use my brush pen for my basics set. And let's write um, love because that is another one of my go-to words. 
Okay, so we have that. What you then can do is you can um, show that layer of that seamless, seamless brush pattern. And what now we can do is we can kind of resize it. So kind of it's just over our lettering. And then what we can do is hit clipping mask. And you see how then you have your spots and then you have the color in the background. So then what you can do on your lettering layer, alpha lock it, and then you can just pick a different color if you want and change the hue, saturation, brightness of it. And then you can even change the layer of the pattern and that color as well if you wanted to. So you see now you have like a purple and blue. And that's another fun way to get the leopard design on your lettering um, if you just wanted to use it as a clipping mask. So you see how we did our lettering, we added that pattern on top and we just clicked on it and hit a clipping mask and so the only areas that you're going to see this leopard pattern is where, where your lettering is. Um, so that's basically it. If you have any questions on how to use the set, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can send me a message here on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram at my fancy design shop. And um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this set. It was a lot of fun for me to create it and um, to share with you guys. So I will have all of the links of where you can find this brush set down in the caption and happy lettering.